Hey guys, I just woke up and I realized I haven't filmed anything yet this week and it's already Thursday, so I figured I would just chat while I'm putting some makeup on. The amount of noisy trucks going by lately is insane. I figured I would just sit here and chat while I put my makeup on. I haven't even brushed my hair yet, so it's probably a mess. I still have my camera here because I filmed swatch videos last night and I didn't get to edit them. I'm just all over the place here. My hair is shedding. Okay. I don't know what palette I'm going to use today, but I have a bunch of new ones to try because ColourPop is always friggin' coming out with new stuff. Well, not to mention the fact that today they're dropping a... Nightmare Before Christmas collection, so of course I have to get some stuff from that. I don't like that they don't announce it until two days before. Like, they announced it on Tuesday. To come out on Thursday. I know people get mad at that because it's like, oh, I didn't get to set some money aside for it, so... <sighs> That's annoying. I hate that they do that. They seem to do that with every collection lately. They did it with the Hocus Pocus one. It was like, oh, it's coming out in a couple of days. It's like they announce it on Tuesday and it comes out on Thursday. I want to say last year when they did the Hocus Pocus collection, they gave a good... Maybe... I'm probably remembering wrong, but I want to say they gave it a good, like, two weeks. And maybe that's why it uh, broke the internet, as they say, because it came out way after they, well, not way after, but they gave enough of a heads up. All right. I think I want to use the Chicago Bulls palette because I really like the colors in here. They're definitely like, these are like, Valentine Day colors, but still fallish because there's like maroons and there's a brownish color in there. So I didn't think I was going to go that dark, but I think I'm just going to... Where is the new... Okay. I was going to say I just bought a new eyeshadow primer and I didn't know where it was. All right. So nothing eventful happened over the weekend. I'm trying to think of something to talk about. Uh, I know I was talking about movies the other day. Steven made me watch the both Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Um, we watched one, the first one on Tuesday. Or no, the first one Monday night and then the second one Tuesday night. And we didn't watch anything last night because we couldn't find anything to watch. But uh didn't watch a movie la <laughs> last night anyway. Hiccups. Um, and I'm just, I'm blank today. I don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> no, I wanted to use this and now I'm like, eh. Alright, I'll figure something out with it. I don't just want to do straight red all over my eye, but I think... This one is more of just a highlight color. Stick it in the corner and then use something else, I guess. We took the air conditioner out of the bedroom yesterday because we were getting a, a storm. I was going to say that storm. I mentioned it when I was swatching these palettes because you could hear massive wind in the background. We were having a nor'easter yesterday. And I was like, I'm really glad we don't live in our old town because we lost power no matter what. It could have been the slightest little storm and we would lose power there. And sure enough, I checked the power outage map for National Grid and the whole town pretty much was out of power. And I was like, well, <laughs> glad we're not living there still. I don't know if they even have it back yet because it said it could have taken all day to uh, restore it 
So I should not have done this color. Let's see how we can make this look. But yeah, we didn't, our power didn't even flicker, so. I'm amazed, but I'm not, because like, we don't live too far from my grandma now, in my grandma's town. When I lived with her, we very rarely lost power. The only time we ever lost it was if like, in the summertime, if we had a, a storm that had lightning, and the lightning would blow out one of the transformers. That's really the only case I re ever remember, the only instance I ever remember losing power there. And even so, it was something they fixed right away. Because they just replaced it and went on their merry way. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to like this look. I should not have done straight up red right all over my inner lid like that. I think it just looks weird to me because I'm used to using a very light color on the inner half. I mean the, yeah, the inner part of my lid. And then a lot of people at Aiden's school were losing their power yesterday. So he didn't have his language arts class. Like she had her power when we signed on for homeroom and then she was just like, I think I'm gonna lose it. So let's just do worksheets and stuff today. So it would have been nice if both the teachers lost their power, but we still had school the rest of the day. So it wasn't a free day. And even when something happens like that, they don't give them a free day. They give them a bunch of work to do. So, like, I was still doing school with him until 2 o'clock. So, Fridays are my favorite day because he's done at 1.15. He doesn't have a, a last class of the day because the last class of the day is usually a special, like music, art, and PE. But they don't have anything on Fridays. So, that is the day. that we can usually run errands and stuff afterwards. But like, it's nice having Stephen home with me now because if we need something done during the week, he can go do it. All right, I hate how this look turned out. <laughs> That's what I get for not really planning it out beforehand here. I just started dipping into the power. Yeah, I was trying to not make it too dark, but I mean, I used this red and now it's... Oh my god, the black is so dark. Let's just roll with this. <laughs> I could have definitely cleaned it up a little more, but... Red and black is not what I was intending on doing today. Whoa! So the black has lots of, like, red sparkles and stuff in it. It's Saturday, and I just woke up, and yet again... I didn't film much this week. I filmed on Thursday, <laughs> just me sitting here doing my makeup, and that was it. <sighs> I got a new uh, moisturizer because the one I was using, that Mercy Handy one, ran out, and I should have just got that one again because I've been loving that one. The one that I got was a, it's on the same idea because it's a gel one like that, but it's, um, what do you call it, Soap and Glory which I usually have really good luck with their products, but this one, see how shiny I am? It's making my skin super oily, and like, gel moisturizers like that don't usually do that to me, so it's, that one's a thumbs down from me. I'm gonna have to see if anybody else wants it. My grandma will probably take it. She has, she has dry skin, so it'll probably work well for her, but, um, doing here I don't know what colors I want to use today or anything I did get my mascaras in the mail because I told you guys I ordered a few 
from Ulta to try out. So I got this set. That's all the Lash Princess ones. So it has the waterproof wa false lash effect waterproof, which I never usually use waterproof mascara, and then the regular false lash effect sculpted volume and volume. So there's at least three in there for me to try. I'm probably not going to use the waterproof one. And then I got the 20, 24 Ever Bold Volume. That's also Essence. This one looks promising because it has one of the spiky rubbery wands that I like. And then for the heck of it, I got this Wet n Wild one, the Saved by the Bell. I didn't get anything else from that collection, despite the fact that I loved Saved by the Bell growing up. Uh, it just, nothing really spoke to me. But this looks like they just repackaged one of their mascaras, because I'm pretty sure I've had one with this same exact wand before. It's like a little short, curved one. And I'll try this one today. I did put like one on top of the other yesterday because I was trying them out and then all it did was make my lashes clumpy so we will have to see. They go a few weeks where they don't release one and then bam all over again. I just got the the Nightmare Before Christmas collection even though I'm not crazy about it and I'm gonna say that in the video because Nightmare Before Christmas is one of my favorite things ever. I have some of the characters tattooed on me for crying out loud, but uh, I don't like that since Disney got a hold of it, it's just like, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff is just vomited everywhere. <laughs> it's the, the, what do you call it, all the merchandise is, it's just everywhere. It, it's crazy what they do with things, like how much... Star Wars they promote the crap out of that it just feels like it's not as special anymore you know because like I have some uh, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff from like when the movie first came out and that stuff is super hard to find and it's just it's more special like they, they make everything Nightmare Before Christmas now so anyway I don't like they kind of did what they did with this last Hocus Pocus collection and just slapped names on things that don't make sense. Like, in that, the new Hocus Pocus palette, the color Fur Black is Black is a green. That makes no sense to me. There's some other colors in there that don't make sense either, but like, the Nightmare Before Christmas collection, they have a pink lipstick for Sally, which, like, why wouldn't it be red? She has red lips pretty much all the time and her hair is red and then like the jack lipstick is red that should have just been like a black lipstick I don't know why they did that and then there's no green in the palette for Oogie Boogie Hot Topic did that t does that a lot too they just have palettes that they look like they slapped names on random colors that don't make sense because they had an Oogie Boogie palette at 1.2 and there was no green in it. They make, uh, I don't know, they have palettes all the time that come out like that. But like the Hot Topic ones are not great quality. So the ones that I have gotten from them are like the, I have the Nickelodeon one and the Polly Pocket one. Mainly just for uh, nostalgia reasons because they're not that great quality wise. I need to bring my little magnifying mirror back up here because I brought it downstairs and I keep forgetting to bring it up here so that I can do my eyebrows better. I need that thing to be able to see. I always have like these little randoms. And then they have, I don't remember if it's the Jelly Much Shadows or Super Shock Shadows in the collection, but the, uh, the Shock one, which Shock is the little, the kid that's dressed like a devil in red, that one is purple. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. Why didn't you make a red one? It's just, uh, I don't know. The colors that they did. A lot of them don't make sense to me and the palette doesn't really 
scream Nightmare Before Christmas either. Look you guys, I'm gonna show you another pair of shoes in the car. I got these boots, these are Mucklucks from a site called Jane.com that I guess is kind of like um, Zulily and they have like clearance stuff. These were normally $90 boots and I paid $14.99 and they're super comfy. So like, definitely recommend to check that site out because I was worried it might be a scam site um, but it was posted on that coupons and deals Facebook page that I love. So I tried it out and I was like, it's only $14.99 and I used PayPal, so if it ends up never getting to me, it only took about a week, so definitely recommend it because these were $90 boots that I got for $14.99 and they're good for like, I don't like to always wear my Uggs when it's like today it's raining out, even though I have the water protector stuff on, protectant stuff on them, I just, I want them to last as long as possible, so these are like my secondary winter boots now. I'm there! Yeah, you're there. Can you fix your glasses? <laughs> Aiden's got his glow-in-the-dark skeleton shirt on. And I have my Hocus Pocus sweater. I'm very Halloween-y today. I look like a pumpkin. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We waiting for Dad to come back? Yes. Today, today took a turn. Uh, yeah. The neighbors cornered Stephen when we got home. I mean, well, they were trying to talk to us and I was just like, I can't. <laughs> My grandma called after we got home from um, doing the, uh, the errands we had to do and told me I had to go say bye to Zelda. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying again. <laughs> I hate that I love animals so much because this is the worst part of it. <laughs> yeah, she's old and it's just time. <sighs> Fudge. I thought I was going to be okay to film this and I can't right now. <laughs> um, we don't know exactly how old she is because she was a rescue dog. She was my friend, my best friend's dog first. When she got her, she they said she was at least a year old. And then she had when she moved in with her, at the time boyfriend, now husband, she couldn't take her, and she didn't want to have to bring her back to the the rescue place, the pound, wherever she got her from, because she had already been returned twice. I don't know why she was such a good dog. Um, and then we had her for God. We know she, we had her for at least 14 years now. So like she's at least 15 years old, probably older than that. But, um, yeah, she's just, she's so much skinnier than the last time I saw her. And I only saw her, what, like the beginning of last month. So. <sighs> They think they're going to take her tomorrow, and I'm probably going to have to go <laughs> and go through that because my grandma doesn't want to do it. Ugh. It's just the worst. I hate, hate having to lose pets. Ugh. I didn't think I was going to cry, so <sighs> I'm just going to shut this off now because I'm going to sit here and bawl if I keep going, so... That's how the day turned out. It was not as good as I was hoping it was going to be, and uneventful and everything, but that's that for now. We're doing our haunted house, which they didn't give us enough uh, frosting for. <laughs> it's supposed to look like that. There's nowhere near enough frosting. Okay, let's finish decorating. Eden's just adding some finishing touches. And let's not mention that I for I didn't realize we put the roof on upside down on each side until I went to do the little whoop whoop and realized they were upside down, but it's been a rough day, so let's ignore that. <laughs> are you trying to draw the window? Yeah, everything is like dripping. 
It's cute though. Stop barking. Remember that giant one? That was a couple years ago. Yeah, we didn't have I didn't have a job then. <laughs> I got that one from Rite Aid. I remember that. This was last year, right? This year. Well, that was this year. Yeah. Most of these are from Marshalls. I can.